what up? All right, here we go. We're doing 7-6 dilations and similarity in the coordinate plane. Okay, so obviously we're in the coordinate plane, x and y axis. Dilation, okay, you might have heard this word before when you go get your eyes messed with. All right, here's the deal. A dilation is whenever something is made bigger or smaller, okay? Same shape, just gets bigger or smaller, all right? Now, when you see that in a, like an optometry office or wherever you are, what they're gonna do is, your eyes is gonna get, are gonna get real big all day and it makes everything real bright, okay? A little experiment you can do, go in like the bathroom or somewhere dark where there's a mirror, turn, like, turn off the lights and look like right in your eyes and then flip the lights on. If you'll notice, as soon as, like your eyes are real, the black part, the iris is in the middle, as soon as the light comes on, they go and shrink down. Pretty dang cool, all right? And I would show you, but I got uh, my eyes, all right? so. So dilations with the same shape, get bigger or smaller, okay? Now, let's talk about a couple things. There's a pre-image and an image. Pre-image is what it looks like before. Image is what it looks like after, okay? Here's the deal. Another word you need to know, scale factor. That is how much the figure is enlarged or reduced, okay? The dilation can be bigger or smaller, okay? Scale factor is by how much it gets bigger or smaller. It's a scale, obviously, and it's a factor. It's a factor that determines it, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, this is what we do. Say the coordinates, if we're in the coordinate plane, we've got A and B, that's our image, okay? That's where the point is located. All right, now, let me see what this is. Okay, and then we'll go to, change it, it's A times something, and then B times that same thing. Okay, K is what we're changing it by. All right, whether it's a fraction, it's two, three, five over six, whatever it is. Okay, for example, say we have our, let's say, let's make a triangle, let's make this, and let's say this says, uh, 2, negative 2, 2, 4, and then negative 2, 1. Okay? All we would do is we would take negative 2, 1, and let's say we want to change it uh, by a scale factor of, let's see, let's say it's a scale factor of 3 over 2. Okay, let's say it's 3 over 2. So we're going to make it like that. All we do is, we do negative 2 times 3 over 2, and then 1 times 3 over 2. And then our final, our new coordinate would be, uh, I think it's 6, so it'd be negative 3, and then 1.5. That's our new coordinate, okay? And then we would do the same thing for the other two, and then we would plot them, okay? And it would change our figure, all right? That's it. I would do more, but it would just pretty much waste your time. If you know how to do that, fine, I'll do it. Okay, and then two, four, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply them. Okay, two times three over two is going to be three, then four, let's draw that six. Okay, and then the next one, the last one is two, negative two, and then after we do it, it'll be three, and then negative three. All right, so we plot them, it'll be negative 3, 1.5, and then we got 3, 6, and then we got 3, negative 3. So our new image is bigger than the other one, obviously, because we multiplied it times a number that's greater than 1, so it's going to be enlarging it, So because that's pretty essentially 1.5. So we've enlarged it, that's the dilation, it's gotten bigger. Okay, not too shabby, just remember you multiply it times the A and the B, or the X and Y, whatever the coordinate is. All right, let's see. Let's work on finding coordinates of similar triangles. All right, I'll use one example. Okay, let's say we got this little guy right here. That's a very X and Y, but I'm just gonna use that side. Uh, three and zero, that's B. Let's say D is right there, we don't know it. And then we'll say zero, two, zero, four. A and C. All right, zero, two, zero, four. All right, let's say these are similar triangles. Say what we're trying to do is find the measurements of similar triangles, okay? D, we don't know. We're gonna set up a proportion. Like I said in the last chapter, it's harder to mess up a proportion than it is to get it right. Harder to mess up than it is to get it right. Okay, so that over that, okay? As long as you match it up, good and even, we can do it, okay? Four is how much it went up for C, two is for A, and then we went over three, and see, because that would be on top and that would be on the bottom, because that's the long length and long length, short lengths match up. Short lengths, long lengths. Okay, and then we don't know D, so X, that's 12, 
equals 6, I'm um, sorry, 12 equals 2x, divide by 2, and 6 equals x. So that means this one is at 6, 0. That's putting it in the coordinate plane. All right. Now, if you want to prove triangles are similar, obviously we still use the AA, SAS, or SSS, and the S's aren't congruent. The A's are congruent, the exact same measures for angles, but the S's are similar. Okay? So we would just do like the distance formula and then compare them. Okay? Match them up. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, if you didn't catch anything I said, um, 